Hey gang, tonight we are doing something a little more local than the theme parks, just what you guys have been asking for. So if you wanna come be an Orlando local with me, you gotta come along. Come along. It's based off our name. So tonight, we are here for the grand opening. Well, not the grand grand opening. It didn't just open today. The brand new Ford's Garage just opened here in Orlando. To be more specific, Hamlin City, which is just minutes to the Magic Kingdom. Like we're talking five, 10 minutes. It's on one of the back roads. And we have eaten at Ford's Garage a lot in Sarasota before. I don't know if you saw Travis's birthday vlog. Definitely check that out in the description because we love eating here. So I am so excited that there is one right next to me in Winter Garden. We are just the city over in the city of Winter Garden. And so now we can start coming to Ford's Garage a little bit more. And we may or may not be crashing boys night. <laughs> Travis and his boys kind of planned all this, so so we're gonna crash it and, and go inside and grab some grub. And here are the hours right here, you guys, and this is interesting to know. I guess they do have like a Sunday brunch at 10 a.m. So they probably have mimosas, Bloody Marys. Oh, I definitely want to come back for that. I told you guys, I'm crashing boys night. Yeah, I'm is. so sorry. These are Travis's, well, not just friends. These are his groomsmen, you guys, if you haven't met them before. Trevor is his best man. Scott is a groomsman. I guess now I'm a part of the bachelor party. That's, that's what guys might, yeah. Burgers, it's gonna be fun. Let's go inside. so cool in the lobby the hostess just pointed it out to me in every Ford garage there's like a hidden Henry Ford somewhere in the restaurant and at this one you guys this is exclusive you can see the little Henry Ford statue right up there above that little like car pipe that's so neat I really like these hats so uh, sir how many uh, Ford hats do you need a lot a lot? Yeah. Do you lot. get like a, a discount on food here if you wear a Ford hat? I and... wish. I'd be here all the time. <laughs> You're here all the time I anyways. Guess. Oh yeah, like a little, a little bottle, bottle opener. opener. Nice. <laughs> And here at Ford's, our server said they are known for the three B's. Their burgers, their beer, and their bathrooms. The bathrooms we'll have to show you later, but to start, we're gonna get some beer. Me and Trevor are both gonna get the Big Storm Tangerine IPA. It's an American IPA, 7% from Odessa, Florida. It's a bitter, moderately strong American pale ale that uses its clean, supporting malt to showcase its hop for eight bucks. And then Scott actually got the Bell's Oberon Ale. It's an American wheat ale, 5.8%. It's a refreshing blend of wheat and light fruit aroma, citrusy and herbal hoppy notes for $7. Okay, it is boys night and boys the first B at hey. Ford's Garage is beer. So Bruce, cheers. Oh. Cheers. Wait, are we gonna film ourselves in the bathroom? The tots are here. I already said I do want to film the bathroom. We don't have to film ourselves in the bathroom. Oh, tots are here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Their appetizers are called the Start Your Engine. So we're going with something that they have on special right now. It's the pork belly loaded tots. Classic tots topped with crispy pork belly, Ford's beer cheese, green onions, and a drizzle of Chipotle Ranch for $9.99. All right, Trav is trying the, the little uh, pork belly tots here. Good. How does it taste? Pork belly heat. Oh, does it? Yeah. That's such a big, big surprise. Eloquent. Should we just like dump some on our plates? Yeah. They're good. They got a little bit of a spice to them. I don't know whatever the sauce is on, but it's really good. Yeah. 
really, really good. And before you uh, chow down on tots, you need a little napkin. And I love the way that they display their napkins here. It is literally, Trav, help me out. What is this called? A car thing. A car thing. It's a car thing, Travis. What is it called? Come on, Travis. It's a car. It's like a hose clamp. Okay, they have a little hose clamp holding on your utensils. <laughs> And then even the napkin is like a little wash rag. Isn't that so cute? And now for the second B at Ford's Garage. It is time for the burgers and all four of us got burgers. I went with the American Standard. It's American cheese, chopped romaine, tomato, red onion, and pickle planks on a brioche bun for $14.50. Travis went with the barbecue brisket burger. It's aged sharp cheddar cheese, bourbon barbecue sauce, hickory smoked brisket, applewood smoked bacon, red onions, and crispy onion straws on a brioche bun for $16.99. And Scott actually went with the Jiffy Burger. It's American cheese, applewood smoked bacon, chopped romaine, and creamy peanut butter, believe it or not, on a brioche bun for $15.50. And Trevor loves salads. Trevor with his salad, he would. So good. I love salad. So he went with the healthy burger. It's the green and clean, fresh house-made veggie burger with chopped romaine, guacamole, tomato, and chipotle ranch for $14.99. And they, of course, have their cool little flags with the name of the burgers, but the coolest thing to me, uh, help trap. What are you trying to do? I was trying, trying to show it without a <laughs> shot. The coolest thing to me is that they burn a little Ford's garage little emblem right on top of your bun. Wow just like Travis's hat. So Scott got that Jiffy burger I was telling you about. Look at the peanut butter just like dripping out of it. That looks so delicious. What do you think, Scott? It's great. It's bizarre, it. right? It's really good. Very interesting burger here, for sure. It's cornbread is to die for. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say the cornbread is busting. <laughs> Are you sure it doesn't taste corny? <laughs> No, it tastes sweet. Oh, that's nice. And he's got that little barbecue brisket burger. And I did say, Trevor, that you love salads so much that of course you had to get the veggie burger. Like, I got the veggie burger. It wasn't the salad. But they said they're known for their burgers, beer, and bath. Yes. So, so I you got like I had to get a burger or something. It's a burger salad. <laughs> it's a burger yeah, salad. It's but a ballad. Is yeah, awesome. he's got the little oh my gosh. corn in a cauldron. Yeah, they gave me a little cauldron. <laughs> like, oh, Harry Potter's out. Yeah, duh. <laughs> this is basically their standard cheeseburger, and there's nothing standard about this. This is giant. It so it's not just a clever name. No, <laughs> it has giant pickles, not standard pickles. A huge little beef patty in there. So let's give it a try. You gonna bite it with the flag? <laughs> you gotta keep the flag in for as okay. long as you can, of course. And look at these pickles. <gasps> Tastes very standardy. <laughs> that cheeseburger for the price is like absolute fire in life. It is so delicious. <laughs> Scott has a knife. That is not a part of the three B's. I guess this is boys night. Boys play with knives while eating burgers. I'm down for it. I'm here for it. I saw Scream five twice. Yeah, yeah, he did. He loves Scream, so, so the knives come out. And we actually got to eat tonight in this little side room. It's kind of like the back garage. It's not a part of the main room. It has this very cool Ford little Cobra right here in the front. And then I love this little quote from Henry Ford. It says, any customer can have a car painted any color that he wants so long as it is black. And you guys know I love to paint everything black. Such a cool little room. Well, dinner was absolutely fantastic. First of all, that beer, they have over a hundred beers here, you guys, to choose from. That's on tap, that's bottled. So many different choices. And then the second B to hanging out at Ford's Garage with the burgers, every single burger, even down to Trevor's veggie burger that he got, everyone loved. The cook was amazing, the sides were amazing, whether they were fries or cornbread, everything was delicious. And now there's just one more B that we have to uh, check off the list and that's the bathrooms here. I don't know how to show them. I don't know if I should knock and say, is anyone here? Is it okay if I come in? But they're so cool, we gotta show them. Here are the rest stop restrooms. 
very cool like gasoline art on the wall here. Well, I'm, I guess I'm gonna see if someone's in there in the girls' room. I'm gonna ask first. Okay, from what I can tell, guys, no one is in here, so let's go take a look. They have very cool signage on the walls. And then look at this. The sinks are tires. <laughs> and then the little where the water comes out is like a gasoline pump. And I think you like, this is what you do, on and off. What? <laughs> That is just too fun, I love that. Even the handle to exit. A little gas pump. That is too funny. All right, bye boys. Bye. Thanks for beers, burgers, and bathrooms. And we have made it back to the Casa. We have brought you guys here recently in our winter garden vlog. Thank you guys to all the new subscribers who found us through that vlog and that's why you're here probably now. We're trying to do more exciting things outside the theme park and going to Ford's garage was uh, pretty dang exciting. It Wouldn't was. you say, you two? Yeah. He's like, what the heck? I didn't get to go. <laughs> He's like, I want a burger. I would have liked that peanut butter burger. Oh, he loves, Dasher loves peanut butter, you guys. He's obviously probably still licking the grease off my fingers and <laughs> off my face right now. But thank you guys for coming along. Make sure you're following uh, Trevor and Scott, too. They do super fun stuff on Instagram as well, as well as Mr. Travis himself, you guys. If you don't know, you already know. Dasher even has an Instagram too. Dasher mm -hmm. the French Gin. Super, yep. super cute. But yeah, Ford's Garage killing it. We love the Sarasota location. We love the New Hamlin location for sure. I thought overall, like, cause this, this thing literally opened like last week. So. Yeah, it is opening week. <laughs> um, I the only thing I would say is I think they're a little bit understaffed right now, but that's yeah. to be given. I mean, it's a brand new restaurant also. The times that we're in, it's not exactly the easiest to find help. But the food that we did get, it was Amazing. hot and fresh. So really good. It's good. And yeah, all the burgers. Um, I had never tried the cornbread before, and that was really good. Fire. Uh, totally Trevor fire. got the jalapeno cream corn, which I didn't even know they had, which was really good <laughs> it was too. So, so good. yeah, everything was really good. I suggest going there too. So yeah, he does too. He's like, I would like to go back. You can bring your dogs. Uh, they do have a patio, like a little thing that you can sit on, but it was way too cold tonight. So we didn't bring him. It was about 50 degrees, but you can bring your pet if it is good temperature for sure. But thank you guys for coming along. And for now, peace, love, and positivity. All the good things. Love you guys.